Um, we have Slingshot, the Diddy Kong, great Diddy Kong player, versus uh, Louis Jesus. Um, kind of just well known as like New York's very good second best refit trainer. <laughs> Obviously, because like, you know, John. And, uh, and that'll happen. But um, Luigi's just no slouch whatsoever. And this is a match that can go kind of either way. Diddy Kong certainly does very well against a character like Weaver Trainer. Weaver Trainer does struggle to kind of hit uh, short characters. Weaver Trainer's back. Um, however, uh, when it comes to the gameplay, you know, Diddy is light. And we all know all too well, Weaver Trainer can kill. Oh, yeah. Weaver Trainer can put on a lot of damage, especially when we get deep breathing started right now. Great delay on that forward air right there. Louis, Louis Jesus bringing the percents right back to even. Yeah, and this is where it can actually become tough for Diddy. You obviously see that uh, Louis Jesus has banana in hand. That can be really big. Diddy obviously kind of does to an extent need banana in neutral, and it's going to get it right back right there uh, to deal with Weaver Trainer from a long distance. Can't land on Diddy's shield like that. Of course, Diddy has some of the best out of shield game in the game in terms of his ability to punish you afterward. Uh, and that's going to be a big punish and a big start for Slingshot. Yep. All right, ooh, great header, catching Slingshot, landing on that platform. Tries to do the delay forward error again, but on Slingshot's shield, Slingshot is ready for it. Luigi's is coming up with these down airs from ledge quite a bit. Yeah, and the thing about, uh, we saw Weaver Trainer fair on shield there, that is, it is minus one, so Weaver Trainers do have a tendency to just mash up, or at least minus one or minus two, uh, especially with deep breathing. But um, you can't mash right afterward if Diddy has a banana in hand, because if you mash, you're just going to get eaten up by the banana. Mm -hmm. Luigi is going for some tricky B-reverse movement, but just barely misspaced that grab. Slingshot with another lease on life on his, uh, his first stock here, rather. Ooh. But a great snipe. Not going to be doing it just yet. Yeah, and a good job by Slingshot to preserve that jump there. As Diddy, that's so important in this matchup. Preserving jump at all times. Luigi Trainer has the ability to go off stage against you, to fair, to, to back air. Again, those are some pretty large hitboxes. Uh, Dare, especially, is kind of massive. So... Uh, does Diddy always have to preserve as many mix-ups as you can possibly have? Louis Jesus is coming down with these hitboxes quite a bit, and they're giving him so much punishment, especially once again, now Louis Jesus' is second stock. Slingshot still sitting comfortably with his first. Yeah, I, you sort of see this issue when it comes to Louis Jesus when he fights Dill. Um, Louis Jesus thinks that he can, like, freely mash down with with uh, characters like, that have items. And Weaver Trainer can mash down against a lot of the cast, but if the character has an item, you cannot mash down versus them. They are gonna punish you out of shield almost every time. And even if it's not coming down on shield, Slingshot has been doing such a good job. That was unfortunate. He, Slingshot has been doing such a good job of positioning himself in such a way that he's always ready to whiff punish Luigi's falling aerials. Yeah, if there's one that he has, it's certainly, um, you know, just faster moves than uh, than Weaker Trainer, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, and that's the thing. When it's, as soon as that soccer ball starts moving, it has a hitbox. So the banana moves the soccer ball as soon as it spawned there, and it had a hitbox that allowed um, Slingshot to punish the ledge drop side beat from Louie. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was a very risky deep breathing. Oh, and it, oh, that was such a good side beat mix-up right there. Being able to go back to stage, Louie Jesus definitely thought um, that Slingshot was going to reset the ledge. And it pays off with an up smash to end the stock. Mm -hmm. Great anti air by Slingshot. And so, yeah, I want to point that out. That was such a good side B. It absolutely looked like um, Slingshot was going to go for an uppy there, jumping back to stage, or at least trying to retreat to ledge. And gets rewarded for it immediately. Luigi's been jumping around uh, Slingshot shield a whole lot. And Slingshot's just ready. Jump up, read it. Again, Weaver Chainer doesn't have moves to hit. Uh, below her super fast. Fair is her best option. Mm -hmm. and that's going to get beaten out by Diddy Up Smash every time. Oh, yeah. All right. So Slingshot up 1-0 thus far. We are going to be going to Yoshi's Story. I think this is a weird time where like the character with better frame data actually does prefer a longer stage. So I do like the pick of Yoshi's Story. Uh, it's still legal here. Mm -hmm. So... Um, it is a pick that I think Weaver Trainer can benefit from. You kind of, as soon as you have Diddy in disadvantage, you want to stay on top of him because that is his biggest weakness. All right, all right. Let's see. Maybe Jesus. Oop. Got the nair, but wasn't able to get much after it off that somewhat taller Yoshi's story platform. Ooh, that's a big combo coming out from uh, Louis Jesus as well. A whole lot of damage right there. Again, Weaver Trainer, no stranger to that. Absolutely. Slingshot playing it patient right now. Yeah, and that's the thing with Diddy. Uh, if you're maintaining center stage, you're playing the game exactly as you should be. This is a character that is one of the best center stage holders in the game. 
Ooh, that's gonna be costly though. All right, Luigi's is not gonna be able to grab the banana. And another, I think it was F tilt on Slingshot Shield. Slingshot bringing this right back to even, getting a percent lead even. Yeah, Slingshot just not really. I mean, obviously he's threatening uh, around Luigi's his space, but not really committing to too much. Just sit, just chilling in center stage with banana in hand. Is gonna get caught by that sun salutation though. Or maybe a little bit too comfortable in his rhythm. And another one is actually gonna get Lu Louis Jesus the first stock of game two. Yeah, after a pretty, you know, it was a very solid start for Louis Jesus and a nice comeback right there from Slingshot. Uh, Louis Jesus is gonna uh, kind of snag that momentum back and take the stock. Um, a lot of jump ins now are getting caught. Louis Jesus is not afraid to just sort of camp under that platform, chill there for a little bit. Um, and it's been working wonders for him thus far. It is tough for Diddy to deal with that. And especially those uh, slanted uh, sides of Yoshi's story are going to make things just a little bit tougher for Slingshot to try and threaten around Luigi's you know, ledge comfort zone. Great DI there by Luigi's, just barely living that up smash. Yeah, not only that, you can kind of see the angles that uh, the Sun Salutation goes at uh, when Luigi's is under the platform on those slants. It's really close to the ground. Uh, normally, because Weaver Chain is so tall, the Sun Salutation actually doesn't quite hit the floor, um, which can make it a little bit easier to avoid it overall, um, if you, especially if you're on the slant. But on these, these slanted stages, it is really easy for Weaver Chain to just, just cover so much of the stage with Sun Salutation. Ooh, nice catch right there with the fair. Right, great pressure now by Slingshot, but another side B. Luigi is going to be fighting his way off. Now, looking for a kill right now with that up air. Ooh, and a great use of the slanted platform also to just mix up the uh, soccer ball trajectory, too. All right, deep breathing now on deck. Has to deal with that banana, but great use of the hoo and a back air to take Slingshot's second stock. Luigi's is at a comfortable 62 right now. Yeah, and right now, um, you know, this is the position where you kind of have to kill with your trainer. You uh, have her at ledge. Obviously, we've trained her a great character from the ledge, but Diddy Kong, another excellent ledge trap character in general. You have to get the stock here before Louie gets a bunch of percent, but the, right here, Louie getting quite a bit. Right, any extra credit counts right now for Louie Jesus. Slingshot not able to get that up smash. He's looking for these back airs off stage to try and close out Louie Jesus' second stock. Yeah, and just trying to maintain that space. And, and the thing is, against Weaver Trainer on this stage specifically, Weaver Trainer gets to control so much space just by sitting under the platform. As Diddy, you need to start pushing the advantage. There's another down air on shield there by Luigi, but Slingshot that time not ready to get it. I think he maybe thought he was facing the other way when he threw the banana out of shield. And so Luigi's just being a little bit ambiguous with way, the way he was drifting there, mm -hmm. uh, making it difficult to kind of cast out. Okay, it's going to be stock. 74% is certainly not undoable. Um, you know, Diddy, a character that can get a whole bunch of percent off of one interaction. Uh, and, you know, once Diddy holds an advantage, as we mentioned before, Diddy can just kill you. Right, but I mean, that is a healthy chunk of extra credit for Louis Jesus. Louis Jesus, you know, in a pretty good advantage right now. Nice stagger pressure on the shield. The key is to focus on your balance. The key is to focus on your balance. Uh, you speak so far after the move is done. <laughs> it's know. crazy. It's like the, move, the move is over for a full second and a half and she's still speaking. <laughs> All right, getting some damage here. Nice start. Ooh, going for that dare. Could have definitely gone for double dip right there. Ooh. Dash attack looking to get things started. Great parry there by Louis Jesus, but look for an empty land grab, not finding it. Now we're back to this sort of we fit neutral. All right, tricky movement there with the soccer ball. Ooh, and that fair is that gonna be enough? It absolutely, yep, absolutely will be with the deep breathing. With deep breathing, that'll absolutely be doing it. Now Louis Jesus bringing it to 1-1. Yeah, and I would fully anticipate the small stage did not go well, especially the small stage with the, the platforms underneath. It made it really difficult for Diddy Kong to approach in any sort of way. So I fully expect an open as stage as possible. And you already see Luigi's banning FD right off mm -hmm. the bat. And Smashville as well, which is a little bit surprising. That is a smaller stage, but not one that you can camp under the platforms on. So that makes sense as well. We're going right to PS2. Uh, a stage that you can most definitely not camp under those platforms. They're a little too small. And we saw the success that um, Slingshot had in game one on this stage. No surprise, we're going right back. Absolutely. 
All right. So game three, right back to PS2, because we don't have DSR, because DSR is for cowards. Come on. Well, it is you called are... the stupid rule. It Dave's is. stupid the... rule. Yeah. Alright, uh, so we are going to get right into this, and we start off by seeing a ledge jump right off the bat. And again, that banana played such a huge role in terms of what Louis was able to do. The more, this more space on the stage, Louis, I think, felt forced to approach, um, which has just really allowed Slingshot to perform excellently against those approaches with banana. However, Louis off to a very strong start here with a full 103% over um, his own 36. Right, now 110% and still climbing. Louis Jesus. Trying to get slingshot with that sun salutation now, but being forced back off stage by this uh, by Diddy's fair. Diddy uh, slingshot right now, looking to end the end that stock relatively early with a down air, not finding it. Ooh, oh, great! Nice. Ooh, with a double Z drop right there. Excellent by slingshot to get that conversion. That's a tough one to do, uh, especially if you're throwing the mix in there, double jump in there. Um, okay, and this is going to be a position where uh, slingshot wants to be. That soccer ball is huge. It allows Lou to get back to stage. Um, you gotta be so careful. It's really. Weaver Chain is one of those characters that you always need to be looking at her. That is gonna be a stock uh, just to avoid those soccer balls and um, the suns off the stage. Yeah, especially um, especially when it comes to a trainer as. Er, a player as seasoned as Louis Jesus, who is gonna know those weirder angles. And it's a great timing to catch Slingshot's uh, ledge option right there with the Sun Salutation. Bringing it right to even 0% second stock. Yeah, and that's the thing as Diddy, like, Banana Pull is necessary, but it puts you in so much lag. You really need to be in advantage first before you pull Banana, especially in a matchup where the character has a charge uh, shot type move like Sun Salutation. Right, and we've seen Louis Jesus catch Slingshot quite a bit for, you know, getting a little bit too comfortable in his neutral and just getting smacked in the face by a Sun Salutation. Okay, right here, the Luigi's has been on that ledge for just a little bit. Gonna go back to the center stage now, maintain that stage control. Not gonna quite be able to kill just yet. Not getting the sweet spot though. Not gonna be able to take a stock. Yeah, no deep breathing either. Stagger pressure. All right. Okay. Skits out of there. Yep. Side being his way back to center stage does not want to deal with that right now. Luigi's is trying to keep his movement at ledge ambiguous right now, but a down air attempt is gonna allow Slingshot back to center stage. Out in the banana. All right, again, utilizing this, this ledge trap, the platform has been instrumental um, in really keeping Louis Jesus at that ledge. Um, and right now, Slingshot does have the opportunity to take a stock here. You're getting real close. Louis Jesus does a reverse situation, though. Gonna be incredibly difficult here for Slingshot to get back down and does just that. Right, and you mentioned these platforms. It's you know it's interesting to see how much difference it makes between this and Yoshi's story. Whereas, oh, great snipe by wow. Louis Jesus. And I think the double jump was gone there too. Not a whole lot of options for Slingshot. Um, really a difficult situation to get out of. And now Louis Jesus already with 33% makes it incredibly difficult for Slingshot to get something going here. Has to get a stock here shortly. Okay. Down tilt, up smash, not going to be doing it quite yet, wow. but a back air catching Luigi's is deep breathing. Yeah, that back air is pretty tough. Back hot. <laughs> I mean, I think clearly someone jumped in, jumped in there. But nice, not falling for the tomahawk there was Luigi's. Immediately went for the grab uh, and caught a slingshot. Okay, nice little combo right there by slingshot as well. Right, and a nice uh, reset there by slingshot using that F tilt catching Luigi's. You're to dead. Jump. Whoa, my god. Yeah, Diddy down air is a great move. If you saw right there, it um, it uh, canceled because the auto cancel window on that move is humongous right before that. Um, but yeah, right there. Um, but able to actually cast the drift away. That is a regrab. Yeah, and that was a regrab. So you just super Huge. die. Look how angry he is. Yeah, and you, you that's the thing. You really can't regrab the ledge versus Diddy. Diddy has so many things to cover ledge. Obviously, you have down tilt at those high percents. You have down smash at uh, the, you know that higher percent range and. You know, you have down air at that, at that low percent range to just take those stocks. Um, and Diddy down air is deceptively strong. That move, that move kills earlier than you you think a little monkey would be able to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, great awareness by Slingshot to go for it because you know things were looking a little bit grim for Slingshot. Louis Jesus had a pretty pretty nice lead, uh, but you know, dying at 48 yeah. to the down air. And you can see there was the. Uh, the jump above ledge into soccer ball there. So the jump was in fact, or the, the, uh, re that was in fact a re-grab. And as we see, the down air angled perfectly. Louis Jesus, if you notice, 
just a couple frames before this, does try and drift out to get past ledge. But Weaver Trainer, actually one of the good things about her, but in this case one of the bad things, she has a pretty big snap box from ledge. You can see she's pretty far away and still going to be able to snap ledge from there. Um, and despite that, you know, that drift away, Luigi is forced to grab ledge. And G uh, sorry, that's our next match. But and Slingshot takes full advantage, takes that stock. Absolutely. And again, we are back, folks. Two thirty-two. Mm -hmm. So many Xenos. I know. If you've been here since like Xeno fifty, like me, or if you've been here since Xeno one, like Devin, if you've been here. I don't know. What's your what's your first Xeno? Oh, gee. I